Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're taking a look at the new snapshot. To start off we have a, a new stone type, a Grimstone, and uh, I'll show you later where you can find this but it's in the lower levels of the world. And then the stone also comes in four variants and you can craft, uh, you can have the normal block, uh, either the wall, stairs or slab in each one so let's take a look at the first one the first one is just the normal brimstone the second one is the polished brimstone then we have the brimstone brick and then the brimstone tile so these are the new blocks we also get this new block which is a chiseled brimstone and there is a face on it at the moment uh, i'm not quite sure which one it is it almost looks like it could either be the slime, I'm not, I don't think it's a slime, but uh, it could be the new uh, warden, the new mob. Okay, then the other new thing is the new ores. So, uh, ores now all have different uh, textures, as you can see, they no longer have the same pattern, just a different color. All of them, you can distinguish now only by shape, and the only one that stayed the same is the diamond one. So you can see here's copper, here's diamond that stayed the same, here's emerald ore, redstone, there's lapis, gold ore, this is iron ore, there's coal, this is the gold ore from the nether, and obviously just the, the, the nether quartz. So yeah, there's all of them, as you can see, uh, all of them now definitely have a different shape, so uh, this was... I believe this was requested by uh, the colorblind um, people that they couldn't distinguish exactly which ore is which one. So this will make it a lot easier just to identify which one is which just by the shape of it. So you don't need to be able to see the color um, at all. Okay, uh, the new things that was also adjusted in the game. We need to go uh, below ground for that. So this is actually a, a very good example in this uh, open cave, or this big cave here. This is the new generation by the way. So as you can see here, the new mine shafts will be supported by chains where, chains where necessary. So this is a very good example here. And, and you can also see uh, the new brimstone in the caves. I think this looks, this looks a lot better and more like an actual mine shaft. And this is actually a very, very good example. You get a lot of chains here. This is actually the most I've seen so far. Another thing you can see here is also where the stone is going over to the Grimstone. So you can see here, here there's only Grimstone. And we can quickly check the layers for that. Okay, so the highest Grimstone we can find is at minus one. Is here I believe let's quickly look around you can maybe find out no so minus one is the highest you can find in brimstone and then it looks like this one minus seven is the lowest that I'm getting stone right now so below y7 there will only be brimstone and above uh, my minus one of the y value there will only be stone and also another thing, diorite and granite will not um, generate below Y1, I believe. And the other stone patches that you see here is much bigger. So these definitely look, the andesite looks much bigger. As you can see from here. And yeah, you can, yeah, you can also see the ores. So there's much more distinguishable now. Uh, there is also one thing to note that apparently they will update the texture around the diamond ore. So, so basically that area there, they'll update that also to the grimstone. I think that'll look very neat. So then it'll, it'll look more natural and as if it belongs there. And yeah, you do need to remember that uh, you need to bring torches down here because it will be very dark. Okay, taking another look at the cave generation you can see that the bigger caves are more towards the bottom of the world while towards the top it's more like the normal smaller caves and caverns so I think this is a very good view so you can see there's big caves down below and then above it's more of the traditional smaller 
tunnels and caves as you can see from here uh, one other thing that also changed is the ore generation so as you can see from here this is the normal 1.16 minecraft this is how the ores would generate and over here you can see for the new 1.17 and this is not final this uh, may be changed but one big thing to notice is that you can see uh, if you want to mine a specific ore there is different layers so for instance redstone and diamonds you still have to go to just above bedrock where you get the most and then for lapis you would round zero you would get the most for, for that the gold ore you would around minus 16 you would go for that copper you would go for yeah around 48 right here iron would be around 32 this is all y levels i'm talking about and then coal you can find only in the upper layer so this is why i said you need torches because as you can see so as you can see from here where the grimstone is there uh, is no coal here so you would need to bring uh, enough torches to light up your area because it, it is pretty dark down there one other thing to note is is that emerald ore now could generate at surface level and i haven't uh, seen a instance of this yet but yeah they can now spawn more at the upper layers of the generation and iron also as well generates in the upper layers and this to note this is only in a mountains biome that they will generate this high also another feature is that strongholds will now be formed with mostly stone around them or just blocks around them so it won't be as easy to just stumble upon them uh, this isn't a very good example and it isn't always the case that they will be completely surrounded by stone as you can see from here if you are in this mine shed well yeah there's quite a few places right here where you will bump into it but uh, this is also not a final i think this this will definitely change uh, change and there will be a stone around the whole stronghold yeah in the final generation but yeah this is this is not final as i said this could change but yeah i think this part is much better where it's as you can see there's no caves or anything that is directly open to the stronghold but definitely on this side we can you can see that there still is some cases where you might stumble upon them okay and the last thing on my list is that the redstone tab in the creative menu uh, changed so as you can see all the the uh, items you use the most like redstone the torch and your know, comparators and repeaters they are now at the top and just down here you can see they're still all the original items it's just you yeah we always use these top ones so now they're just at the at the top so this makes it much easier if you just go quickly in and you can grab your whatever you want to need uh, the only thing is that uh, slime blocks yeah slime blocks and honey is still in the decoration tab they do but yeah uh, that's all yeah that's all for today guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it this is my first attempt at a snapshot video please you leave your likes and comments down below and uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe for more okay, so see you in the next one guys and goodbye <music>